This is a natural spring, right, bro? And that right there, you guys, is where we get our water. All right, bro, let's see you load your bottle in the big Tonka there. So we just put the jug down here like this and catch water in it. Woo! <laughs> oh my God! Here we go, Big Tonka. Loading it in. Look at that thing. It's a leech. Woohoo! So, Axel, are you a pro tractor driver now? Yep. <laughs> you guys, Axel is getting so good at steering this tractor. With me there, of course, him being in my lap. But you are doing so well, bro. I am so proud of you. You're learning how to steer, and that's very important. Yeah. Welcome to the show, you guys. So today, we have a really cool day lined up for you guys. Axel and me are here all by ourselves, right, bro? It's just you and me. And Big Tonka. And Big Tonka, yeah, you guys. And we got Big Tonka here and the other Big Tonka here. And we have our glass jars that we take our water in, you guys. Yeah, we don't get water like most people do. We have to go up to a spring up here and collect the water from the spring in our jars, take them back down, boil them, and then we can drink it. Isn't that interesting? It's easier than dying the grocery store and quicker and it saves money. <laughs> it does save money, yeah, because we don't have to buy a bottle of water, yeah. But it's also just the way we do things. You guys come and help us out, okay? We're gonna use our tractor to drive up to the spring and then we're gonna use our dump trucks to carry the water the rest of the way. Come on, let's do it. Axel wants to show you guys something real quick first before we start driving the tractor. So, you wanna show them how quickly you can turn the steering wheel, right? Try to turn it right now. Try to turn it. Try hard, pull. I know it's locked. Try it, it's not, it's not locked. Look, it's turning. See that, turn, look at that. But is it really hard to turn it? It's really difficult, you guys, uh-huh. Now, start it up, then try to turn it. Now try to turn it. Look how easy it is. Let's see, turn fast, turn fast, turn fast. Turn fast, turn fast, turn fast. Dude. Isn't that cool? I learned it so fast. Yeah. Okay, turn it off a bit. Do you guys know how we can turn it fast whenever it's on and not when it's off? Because the steering wheel tries to lock itself. It doesn't actually. This doesn't, the steering wheel doesn't lock up like some cars do. It's called power steering. Yeah. It's hydraulics, you guys. Hydraulics are so important. We did a video about hydraulics a while back. Hydraulics oh, are extremely important. And hydraulics are the reason. The one where we reason. crushed an egg and tried to crush the yes, monster Yes, that one, and we crushed the monster truck. Yeah, let's see a replay of that. <laughs> All right. All right, so you guys, these the chambers here are filling with water. Keep pumping it. This is intense, you guys. The suspense is killing me. Will it crush? Will it crush? Hey, that's a new series we can do. Will it crush? Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Keep going. Look, look at that, you guys. It's crushing him. It's crushing Grave Digger. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? It's crushing him. What? Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Will it go? It won't no, go try. Okay, hold on, let me try. Ah, the water, it's crushing. Look at that. Ah. Wow, oh my gosh, he is seriously crushed, you guys. Look at that, look at his wheels. This is madness. I, I cannot believe it. In. That's so crazy. So you guys, hydraulics are so important even for this tractor. Hydraulics are what makes it possible for the bucket to lift up and they make it possible for the power steering to work. It makes it, gives it an extra boost. So when you're turning the steering wheel, it turns the wheels much easier for you. All right, show them how quick you can get on the tractor. Go, 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 go. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. All right, bro, come on over here. Let me give you a hand. There you go, oh, you got it, okay. All right, so Axel, what I need you to do is I need you to load one of these glass bottles into one of these Big Tonkas, okay? Big and Tonka wants you to smell this. Okay, what do you want me to smell, Big Oh, Big Tonka wants me to smell these needles here. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. 
Oh, it's so good. Man, mm, that is a fir tree. It's needles from a fir tree, and they the smell so good. They have special tree. oils. The Tonka got from that tree yeah. right there. Uh huh. Yep. They have special oils in them that give off a scent, and it smells so good. All right, bro. Let's see you load your bottle into Big Tonka there. There we go. Both loaded up. All right on it. These are all five gallon jugs, you guys. We're going to fill them with water. Come on, Tonka. Let's go. Uh-oh, we got a log here. How are we gonna get over that log, Tonka? Man, what are we gonna do? There you go, <laughs> carry it one at a time. Axle helicopter. Axle helicopter. We don't want them to break, right? <laughs> so we gotta carry them over there. We made it. <laughs> what are you eating? All right, don't drink that water, right? Axel's being funny. <laughs> he knows that he's not supposed to drink that water, so he's trying to be funny with me, huh? So you guys, we made it here with the big Tonkas, and that right there, you guys, is where we get our water. This is a natural spring, right, bro? So that's where we get our water, you guys. It goes into that barrel, into that pipe, and down to our house. But that pipe gets heated and dangerous chemicals get released from the plastic and into the water. And so we don't want to be drinking that water. So we get the water from the source right here just about and then we boil it to make sure dangerous bacteria dies. <laughs> All right, you guys. So now it's time to fill up the jugs here. Yeah, this is the jug. Do do so we just put the jug down here like this and catch water in it. I rinse it out a little bit first, like that. Look at that water, bro. Is that pretty dirty? You know why it's dirty? Because you were messing with the water while I was trying to fill it up. Ah. Yeah, you were, you were mixing up all the mud there and it was running right down into here. I just... Right, can you not do that while I'm trying to fill this up? Thank you. All right. All right. Oh, this one's full. Oh, man. Here we go, Big Tonka. Loading it in. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Look centipede. at this. Axel has this awesome centipede on his arm. That is so cool, bro. Do you, you like being out here in nature and looking at the creatures? Mm -hmm. Yep. That has like so cool. 50 legs. It's got a lot of legs on it. Look, it's going upside down. Is it going? Oh my gosh, it's right, well, it's not quite upside down. See if it can hang on upside down. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh, it is upside down, you guys. Look at that. That is so cool. Wow. Focus. Oh my gosh. So is that your new friend, Axel? It's a bug friend. <laughs> it's a bug friend. It's a bug bite. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that thing. A leech. It's a leech. Axel has a leech on him. Wow. Look at him. He's, he's looking for blood. See him squirming around? <laughs> so Axel's playing, playing in the sprint stream there. So you got a leech and a centipede. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Watch hey you guys, there's Come leeches watch in watch here. Go. Uh, but these leeches aren't the kind of leeches that would actually do any harm to you. Watch uh, out in the They're real morning. small, and they might end up, if you let them be on there long enough, they may just end up sucking a little bit of your blood. But they're not that big of a deal here. <laughs> here. Be free, little leech. Let it go. <laughs> you put the centipede right there. So we let the centipede go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... And we're going to let the leech go. There you go, little leech. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> 
pretty cool, huh? All right, Big Tonk is fully loaded with this spring water here and the other Big Tonka too. We're gonna have to bring them back to the tractor. Go boil. Oh my gosh, we got raspberry! Raspberry! <laughs> Dude, look at this, you guys. Wild raspberries. Oh, let's see it, let's see it. Oh, those are beautiful. Wow. Axel, you guys, he was walking by the tree and he was like, oh, look. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh. Wild foods are so good. So good for you. Never, ever, ever, though, eat anything that you find in the wild, you guys, unless you know for sure that it is not poisonous. You can die if you think, if you see a red berry, don't just pick it. Eat unless it, right? you're sure it's red huckleberry. Unless you're sure, unless your parents have told you it's okay. Look at this. Always ask your parents first, and always make sure you've done your research if you are an adult. And make sure, because you can die from eating things in the wild. You, know, you don't have to, but you can. Oh, here's another one, you guys. Oh my gosh. Ah, climbing up, over. Ah. Over. Over. Ah. There we go. Ha. These jump trucks are definitely useful, you guys. <laughs> Axel couldn't carry it all the way because that water was way too heavy. <laughs> Man, Big Tonka, that was a lot of work. Big Tonka, look what I have for you. Oh, what do you got? A raspberry. A raspberry? Is it wild? Uh -huh. Oh, my favorite. I'm going to throw it in my dumper. Hop. Dum, 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 dum. Excuse me. <laughs> you want some? Thank you so much. Yes, you gonna share half of it with me? Mm -hmm. Axel loves to share food, you guys. So good. Mm, I'm so happy you, that you are learning to share your food, Axel. It's, it's such a good thing. It tastes like wood sorrel when it's like that. Right? Uh, not no, not really. Because well, it's kind of sour. It's a bit of... tart, yes. So it does, in that way, taste a little bit like wood sorrel. It's a bit tart, yes. Axel wants to show you guys a super skill he has. Let's see you do it, bro. I can... I can do it without my hands. He is the tractor climbing champion. Use your hands if you have to, though. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Alright, bro, start up the tractor. Let's go back and boil some water. Let's see if I can do it. Got your helmet on, bro? Good job. Yeah, you guys, it's so important to wear your helmet. I found that out recently when I hurt my face right here. And it could have been a lot better if I was wearing a helmet. All right, you guys, well now that the water is boiling, we're gonna go on a little adventure. We're gonna go to the new swing we just made. All right, bro, let's see you do it. Woo! <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, that is so fun, you don't even know. All right, you guys, now I'm gonna do something really cool with Axel. I'm gonna swing him around. <laughs> Ready? Woo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Dude. Ah. <laughs> Can you get him? Can you get him? <laughs> ah. <laughs> When you're holding with one hand, be extra careful, right, bro? Woo! All right, so you guys are gonna swing with me. You ready? One, two, three. Woo-hoo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> swing around, around, around! Dizzy now. Oh. And off. <laughs> that was fun. In a future video, you guys are gonna see how we made this swing. That was a lot of fun, and it was kinda uh -oh. scary. All right, you guys, well, this has been a lot of fun. You guys get out, use your imaginations to find creative ways to live your life and love everyone around you. No matter what you have, no matter where you are, you can have Daddy, fun just like snake. you see, what? What, what is it? A snake? Quiet. 
Where? Quack, oh my it, gosh, it's huge! It, it's huge! It's huge! Ah, it's gonna bite you! It's gonna you. <laughs> oh no, it's venomous! <laughs> uh oh, I'm gonna break his neck. Oh, there you go, break his neck. <laughs> it's constricting Oh me. no, it's constricting me! Oh no, you guys, our snake is constricting me! <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, you guys. This is a really cool snake that Axel got from Goodwill, right? Yeah. He said it's his favorite toy now. It only costs like $2 from Goodwill. <laughs> what? Yeah, you guys, that reminds me. We did a video a little bit ago about us catching and eating snakes. Now, in that video, I told you guys not to go and catch snakes, but I didn't really emphasize it enough. And I started realizing that some of you guys may not have parents who communicate to you the dangers of snakes if you happen to have dangerous snakes in your area. Now, we live in western Washington, you guys, and here there are no dangerous snakes, really. There's no venomous snakes, and most of the snakes are just like garter snakes. But you guys might live in an area where there are venomous snakes, and if you do, boy, you better watch out. Snakes can be so dangerous. They can be lethal. If you mess around and try to grab a snake that you don't know if it's venomous or not, you can die, you guys. Do not ever, ever touch snakes or mess with snakes, you guys, unless you know that your parents are okay with it and that it's not a venomous snake. Be sure of that, okay? It can be very dangerous. And don't eat anything in the wild like you see us doing unless you know that it is not poisonous, because you can die from that too. So Axel, you know that around here the snakes aren't venomous, right? Yeah, but sometimes constricting snakes are worse because... They can it, constrict yeah, you? Yeah, and it makes, and right. it, makes it Oh my gosh, you're right, bro. You guys, I didn't even think of that either. Some of you boys and girls might live in areas of the world where there are constrictors that are big enough to actually eat you. And that actually like, happens. Man. That's kind of crazy. So, so even if it's not a venomous snake, you gotta be careful. If you see a big snake like that, definitely don't do that. But most of you guys, if you have parents who are aware of that, that there are venomous snakes in your area, your parents have probably told you that by now, if there's lethal snakes where you live. But just in case your parents haven't, or you don't have parents to tell you that, I'm telling you right now, be careful. Snakes can kill you. In uh oh, case. Axel is going to pass out because the snake is constricting this is him. A anaconda. <laughs> yes, anaconda you guys. Anaconda. Pythons and anacondas can get big enough to actually kill and eat humans. That's crazy. And constrict them like this. <laughs> <laughs> and one more thing, you guys. Some of you guys may have seen us kill the snakes, and you may have thought, "Oh, that's not good," or it might have upset you a little bit. But I want to ask you, have you ever seen your parents or you kill an insect? Like squash it maybe? Like maybe a roach was in your house and your mom was like, ah, squish it, and killed the roach? Maybe something like that happened? Well, what did you think of that? Did you think that that was bad, that the roach died? For really nothing, they were just trying to scavenge for some food. <laughs> but we killed the snakes so we could eat. You know what, you guys? Maybe ask yourselves, why is it that the roach, it's okay to kill, but the snake, it's not okay to kill? Ask yourself that, because is a roach worth more than a snake? I don't know. Maybe it is, but I don't necessarily think so. I think that roaches are just as important as snakes are. They play an important role. They've been around for a very long time. All right, well, this is a message directly to parents. So, oh! Maybe if your mom and dad isn't watching right now, maybe you can tell them that Axel's daddy has something to tell you guys, or to tell them. <laughs> so parents, I just wanted to tell you that we got a few comments about the snake video, and I understand your concern. You don't want your child seeing things being killed. I understand that, and I just want to let you know that other than maybe some insects every once in a while, because that seems to be okay in people's minds to kill insects, um, other than some insects, for the time being, I will not be killing any creatures on the show. And I will make sure that I hold true to that. And if I ever start doing it again in the future, I will make absolutely sure that I let you know in a way in which I know you will hear 
from me. I talked about it in the previous video, I let you know, but I understand some of you may be with my channel, you trust it, so you're like, I don't have to watch everything, and then all of a sudden, we're killing snakes. <laughs> I understand that so I will let you know in the future if we ever start doing any more creature hunting or harvesting on the show okay there may be a few insect squashing I don't know maybe in the future but people seem to be okay with that we did one where monster trucks were crushing a roach and we didn't have a big uh, upset over that um, we didn't eat the roach though <laughs> so it kind of got wasted but something ate it maybe the ants all right, well, I just wanted to thank you parents for all of your support and all of your amazing comments and even your comments that are not so positive towards us. We appreciate you guys sharing your concern with us because we do need to know if you guys don't like something so that we can maybe change it if that's possible. Thank you so much. Bye.